Welcome back everybody. Uh, for this video I'll be discussing and going over the preparation of aldehydes and ketones. Uh, so let's get started with this uh, topic. Okay. So for this video I'll be just going through a list of reactions. Um, some that are familiar, some that are not. Um, and I'll just be going through, through this list of reactions uh, that you should uh, familiar familiarize yourself with. And um, and these are again methods in order to prepare aldehydes or ketones. So uh, let's get started. The first method is if you have, um, let's just say you have you have alcohol here, and then um, we have alcohol here. Okay, so we have um, this other starting material right here. Okay, so we have two alcohols. Um, this one is a primary alcohol because this carbon here is a primary. This carbon here is secondary, so therefore it makes this alcohol secondary. If we react this with PCC, right? Again, I'll draw the products down here for you guys. We will get a, excuse me, a aldehyde for the primary alcohol and we'll get a ketone for the secondary alcohol okay so again you guys should be pretty familiar with this reaction I talked about this I believe the video is called the oxidation of carbon excuse me the oxidation of alcohols so if you guys check that video out in my channel I think that should give you guys a good understanding of what's going on okay so let's move on to the next method next method is if you have an aromatic ring to start off with and this specific reaction is called the Friedel Crafts acylation so again, you guys should be familiar with this. So that is why I'm not going to spend so much time um, discussing this reaction. Again, R group referring to any type of general uh, carbon group. Okay, so alkyl group, propyl group, um, aromatic ring could be in this position of the R, and we'll use AlCl3. Okay, again, I'll draw the product down here will form a ketone as a result of this reaction okay so we have two carbon groups here okay again this R is referring to a carbon group and so that is what constitutes uh, this what constitutes a aromatic ring okay excuse me this is what uh, constitutes a ketone having two carbon uh, groups next to uh, the carbon of the C double bonded O. Okay, so there's our second method. Let's move on to the third method. Again, you guys should be pretty familiar with this method. This specific reaction. We have this. Um, we have this alkene here. Okay, and I'll draw an H here so you guys won't get confused. If we did ozonolysis, O3, Br, H+, plus, again, this is from first semester organic chemistry, um, we will break the double bond here, okay? The zigzag line is demonstrating and showing the breakage between the double bond, uh, the breakage between these two carbons right here. And so we will yield, as a product of this reaction, an aldehyde plus a ketone okay so this specific piece right here is what makes up this ketone and this piece here is what makes up the aldehyde so you guys again should be familiar with this um, reaction it's from first semester organic chemistry so again I'm not going to really focus on this that much just something to be aware of now let's move on to our fourth reaction again first semester organic chemistry um, if you have 
this alkyne, right? And we react it with, we react this with BH3, H2O2, and sodium hydroxide, uh, excuse me, sodium hydroxide. Again, I won't focus on how this reaction works. I just want to show you guys the product. You guys should be familiar with this reaction from first semester organic chemistry. And you yield this as your product. I'll draw it down here again. This aldehyde is your product of this reaction with this alkyne. Okay? So again, if you guys uh, are kind of kind of fuzzy, you don't really remember, just go back to your guys' first semester organic chemistry notes and just uh, try to try to refigure it out how this reaction works. I just want to just uh, present you guys the methods in order to prepare aldehydes and ketones. So this is our fourth method. Again, I'll leave this starting material, this alkyne, for this next method. So the next method is if you have this alkyne again, and we and we react it with mercury sulfate and H2SO4. So HgSO4 and H2SO4. Again, the product of this specific reaction is a ketone. And again, I'll draw it down here. That is the product of this reaction. Again, if you guys uh, are kind of not really recall, just check your guys' first semester or organic chemistry notes or your textbook uh, for a little refresher. So that is our fifth method in order to prepare, in this specific example, a ketone. Okay? So now let's move on to the sixth method. Okay? Let's just say we're starting off with this ester over here. we have this ester okay and if we react and if we react an ester with dibol H okay dibol H H2O H plus workup uh, the product of this reaction will be an aldehyde plus an alcohol okay and so let's look at this uh, briefly um, the aldehyde came from this piece over here okay that's where the aldehyde came from the alcohol right here came from this piece over here okay so the way I think about it in my head, uh, even though it might not um, go side by side with the reaction mechanism, uh, what I do is I just break the bond between this carbon and this oxygen, and all I do is, so I separate the two fragments, right? Se separate them into two pieces like I have done and I have shown you here, and then all I do is attach a hydrogen to this carbon, and as you guys can see, I did that over here. And in regards to this piece, I just attach the hydrogen to this oxygen over here. Okay? So even though it might not go hand in hand with the reaction mechanism, um, this is how I think about it in my head to draw the product in a very efficient and fast manner. Okay? Because you don't really want to go through the whole reaction mechanism and how everything works uh, when trying to figure out uh, products and uh, trying to figure out the answer on the exam you want to be really quick and just recognize something and draw the products right, right away and this is my technique that I use in order to draw the product of the reaction of an ester with dibol H, H2, H2O, H plus workup again break them into two pieces like I've shown you here and attach a hydrogen to this carbon 
and attach a hydrogen to this oxygen and that's what I've done here and here okay so that is our sixth method so let's move on to our last and final method that I'll be discussing and that is if you have a acid chloride okay so we have this aromatic ring again acid chloride is a functional group um, you guys should be familiar with okay um, and the reagents we use for this specific reaction is I put R here as a generic alkyl group okay and we use copper lithium put a 2 here and then we use H2O comma H plus workup okay the product of this reaction will be a ketone okay okay the only thing that happens okay, let's kinda of make this a little bit more neat the only thing that happens in this reaction is that whatever piece you have inside these parentheses replaces the chlorine that's all it is to this reaction okay so again the only thing we have in this parentheses is this R group which is symbolic of a generic uh, excuse me, is, is symbolic of an alkyl group, an aromatic group, any type of carbon group, um, and that replaces the chlorine, okay? So let's give you, let me give you guys an example without using R as the uh, generic form. Let's just say we have CH3, CH2, okay? So this ethyl group, okay? So CH3, CH2, and we are reacting it with this acid chloride what will be the product of this reaction. Again, this CH3, CH2, two carbon chain will replace this chlorine and all you'll form is, again, a ketone. But instead of having an R group, we have this two carbon chain, one, two. So I'll label it for you guys, one, two, one, two. Okay, so this carbon here is this carbon here, this carbon here is this carbon here, okay? So those are all the methods uh, that I can think of that you should be familiar with. Um, there are other reactions, other, um, other methods also. Um, one that I could right now think about off the top of my head is um, this one right here. If you have a secondary alcohol, react with CO3H2SO4, the product you'll yield is a ketone, okay? So that's another method, but um, all in all, these are just some of the methods you guys should be familiar with, some of the more important ones. So um, that's all it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, learned something. Um, this is Mobala12 and I'm signing out.